CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Big storms developed again this afternoon, a little bit later in the day and a little bit farther to the west and to the north. Much of the activity now over Broward and especially earlier this afternoon where heavy repeated thunderstorms moved over the northern part of the Sawgrass Expressway there. So Parkland and Coral Springs under a flood advisory for about another 40 minutes or so until 6 o'clock uh, for street flooding there. The rest of Broward for the moment is looking quiet, but look out to the west in the Everglades. Big thunderstorms kind of expanding here and that activity is going to be sliding to the northeast. So. Another round of thunderstorms should come into Broward as well as western and northwest sections of Miami-Dade. And of course, we'll keep our eyes on Richmond Heights as well as Kendall because any additional rain could cause uh, flooding very quickly there. The thunderstorms right now just hugging uh, the western side of Chrome Avenue there as well as the turnpike. Here's our CBS 4 camera. Look at that picture, huh? Those are the storms all over the Everglades right now. They're going to be sliding to the northeast. 91 in Miami, 88 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 88 in Key West. Eight on the stick in the scale feels like a Hundred. Southeast wind at 11 gusting to 21 3 tenths of an inch of rain at MIA. The rain cooled areas now in northern Broward feels like upper 80s there, but mid to upper 90s to around 102 is what it feels like through much of Miami Dade. But a little bit later on this afternoon, this evening, the outflow from the thunderstorms will sweep through and cool things off. Satellite showing these storms blowing up today, and this is all part of that bigger moisture that's been draped across Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. But finally, the moisture is going to retreat, at least that deepest moisture. So tomorrow we're looking still stormy, but the chance for flooding downpours is starting to go down as the deepest moisture is pulling away. But still a little bit of leftover moisture hangs on. Then on Sunday, finally, some drier air comes in. The rain chances do go down for Sunday. So tomorrow you're going to have to play kind of hit and miss thunderstorms Sunday looking better. The tropics, the uh, tropical wave moving across the Caribbean there, but no development thanks to upper level wind shear, which was limiting development there. Also disorganized thunderstorms in the northern Gulf of Mexico. We keep our eyes on and then way out in the Atlantic. Tropical waves are out there, but lots of dry air is limiting any type of development out there, so development not expected into early next week. For us tonight, evening storms around some downpours with a low near 79. Tomorrow, look for a mix of sun and clouds and spotty storms just about any time during the day. Some of those uh, may produce some brief heavy rainfall, but I think our flood threat going down starting tomorrow. Southeast winds on the water at 10, 1 to 2 foot seas through the weekend. Still some storms spotty for your Saturday, Sunday looking better. Next week, the storms return by midweek. Back to you.